So today we're going to see if we can get this Rival 3 Steel Series mouse down to a really light weight. We're going to bring it lighter than the Aerox 3. We're going to be using a destructive and non-destructive mod, so stick around, let's see how we do this. So hi, I'm Birdie Bob. I've been gaming for 35 years, checking out the latest mice, keyboards, and game peripherals. I've been doing reviews on these as well as modifications to allow you to get that competitive edge over your rivals. So if you want to learn from someone who's been gaming for decades, then you come to the right place. So in this mod, we're going to say do a non-destructive one. We're going to take it apart. We're going to see exactly what we can take out of this mouse to reduce the weight that won't impact any of the performance and also allow you to put it back to being stock. And the second mod will be where we're going to cut it up and see what weight we can get it down to. So we're not sure how to take apart this rival as well. I've done a teardown video, I'll put a link in the description for that so you can see how to take it to pieces. Missed the power cable mod to make one of these because I couldn't be bothered buying the little connector. So, you want some power cords making is good in the UK. So, let's do a weight reduction without destroying it, and then as we always do, and then we'll go on and do a proper one where we take off some of the excess weight that we don't like. So, we're going to need the diffuser out this time, I think. Good man. Thought this one looked cool as fuck. He's got a smaller JST connection. Right, we'll put two screws in it, but for now I'm not going to put the screws in and we'll keep the skates off as well. There you go, 69 grams. If you uh, don't want to destroy it, not bad. It's a pretty good weight reduction there. Easy peasy. Be careful on this because if we get it wrong. Goodbye side buttons there forever. Trim that post out, you're definitely right. You can definitely cut that out. You can definitely cut out um, these like pillars here. These are coming straight out. Maybe we can access that bit now and start trimming this panel out. Like what's the point in those additional bits? Is that for the, that's for the diffuser maybe? Nope. So the diffusers slip over the, the normal posts. Point, what's the point now? I'm missing something. What I need to understand is can I get away with just two of these posts here? I don't see why I need the third. I think we can get rid of this post. We can trim out this inner inner piece of it. Got to keep that apart because that's what stops it moving side to side. But
This is pretty trim now, man. Why not? Twenty-three. Twenty-one, sorry. So this is what the shell looks like. I also washed it a bit. Hmm. So we get a bit more around there. You can see the Dremel for me was a bit too aggressive. You can see here. So I'll using the file a little bit smoother. But it definitely trimmed out some of the sides. Went through the back here. British, British tea, nearly went through it there. But it's definitely took out some of the weight. Um, you could probably do a bit of a nicer job if you wanted. So it was worth it. So it was 21.06. Okay, took a gram out of it. So I'm gonna leave, you gotta leave these two posts. I'm pretty sure we can just trim everything else out. I'm going to trim it just behind this lip on the inner side. Or seven grams, but still three and a half. Four grams, still pretty heavy, isn't it? bit more tidy up. Right, let's do the base then. Right, let's try out some space. What skate should we go? Zari on it, we could put some little dots on it instead. Maybe we could trim all the base out that way. What about some final mice hyperglides? A bit smaller. Something like that, I reckon. It will take a little bit. So we should be able to take out all of this. A little bar across.
looking like so far. Oh, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. We can do, we could trim out a few spokes actually in the scroll wheel. We'll keep the rubber on. It's got a look stop, remember? We could always trim it off. The one which was the rubber. We did it in a weight reduction book. Have a look. Then on a gram. Tidy up a little bit. Use the hyperglides on it, we'll put them on the scales out. So what it weighs, it's gotta be 60, it's gotta be 58. I'm going for 58. Ooh, one gram over. Take the diffuser out, it's 58. Yeah, boy. So the diffuser out, we already know it's gonna weigh, right? But we'll, uh, we'll try it out anyway. Down to 57. So what do you want? No side buttons? No DPI? Should we take the DPI out and then the side button? Weigh the DPI independently, but you have to take the switch off. Let's see, half a gram. So diffuser out, side buttons out. I'll take the rest of it these bits. This should be pretty light. It's got to be, uh, what do you reckon? I'm going to go, should know the weights because we've weighed it before. I'm going to go 54. Holy moly, even less, 52. What? <laughs>